Do you have the TH3D Easy Board Lite on one of your machines like the Ender 3? Do you need to compile the firmware and want to do it super easy? Well, TH3D just put out a crazy new super fast tool for this. Let me show you how to do it. My name is Jim and this is the Edge of Tech. So yesterday, TH3D announced that they put a tool on their website that allows you to configure firmware and they will compile it for you. I jumped on the site today, I learned how to use it super fast. I talked to Tim, went through all the steps and I'm telling you, it is really easy. It is probably five minutes or less now to compile firmware for their 32-bit Easy Board Lite. It is only good for that board right now, but who knows, maybe in the future they'll do it for other boards. But I tell you what, I ran through it two or three times to test it, and each time it took me five minutes or less to, from start to finish to get a firmware going all the way to an SD card. So that's what we're going to do today. Quick shout out, happy birthday Rachel from TH3D. I hope you had a great day, and thank you for packing everything in our boxes. With that being said, let's jump on the computer and let's show you how to do this. So what you want to do is go to the website, and I'll put that in the description below. All you have to do from here is go up to Online Editor and click it. So the first thing you want to do is come up here to Tags, and let's do uh, the Edge of Tech video. So what you want to do is put any tags in here so you know it's you. You can put your name, you can put a code name, whatever you want, just as long as you know it's you. Then what you want to do is come down here and you want to read the instructions. Now this currently is only for the TH3D Easy Board Lite, the 32-bit board from TH3D that's a Creality drag and drop. So you'll read through the instructions and at the very end of this, we're going to put it on an SD card, we're going to boot the printer, and then we're going to reset our EEPROM. We want to make sure everything's set to defaults when we get the new firmware. So start your cursor at the top, hit Control F, type Ender up here, and you'll find the section for your printer. In my case, this is an Ender 3. So we're going to comment out the Ender 3. Then we're going to scroll down here. I do not have an easy out, um, and I don't have the filament sensor if you're using the CR10S. But we're going to come down here, and since I have an Ender 3, what we need to do is comment out the OEM mount for the CR10, which is actually the same thing for the Ender 3. Now that I've done that, that's all I need to do for my Ender 3, and the reason why I commented this out is because I have an easy ABL mount on mine. If you just have the Ender 3, all you need to do is take out these two slashes to uncomment, define Ender 3. When you're done, you have your tags up here, hit submit. Now, here's the queue. There's one in the queue currently. It'll take roughly about three minutes to get through this. Okay, so now it went from compiling to success. That's what we have here. So now what you need to do is click on this download button. And what you'll see is success, the Edge of Tech video, happy birthday, Rachel. That's what I called the tags on mine. Click that file, download the firmware.bin, It'll download for you. Then you'll want to save this firmware.bin file on your SD card. So now you have the TH3D firmware compiled. You take that file that you downloaded, you put it on your SD card. You come over to your printer, you put your SD card in your printer, and you turn your printer on. At that point, it'll go through a little bit of configuration. It'll take a little longer to boot than normal. It'll boot up, and then all you have left to do is to reset your EEPROM. If you follow the instructions on the page, it'll show you how to do that. You can use the control on your printer too. If you click the button, um, go through the menu and find reset EEPROM, it'll be perfect. It's right there. That's all you have to do. You're, you got your firmware compiled, you put it on an SD card, you loaded it on your machine, you turned on your machine, it's done. Now just print. It's super, super easy. Thank you so much, TH3D for coming up with this tool. I think it's super easy, it's very quick to learn, and you guys really took a lot 
of the hard work out of it. We don't have to download the whole thing anymore, especially with the 32-bit board. We don't have to fumble around in new ways to do it that are different from our 8-bit boards. It takes all of that guessing out and it actually works. All I gotta say is thank you. You really made this super easy for us users to use. And now, anyone that's having trouble, all we have to do to help them is jump on this, say what kind of uh, machine do you have? They say Ender 3, go in editor, we uncomment Ender 3, we compile, and they can get on and actually download the file from their side, which is so cool. So I could compile your firmware, you could get on, download it, and I could help you walk you through the steps to finish it. I mean, I don't know how it gets any easier than that. Um, that's just, it's just awesome. So it really takes about five minutes in real life from the time you get on their website to the time you're plugging in your SD card and you're loading your new firmware. Firmware changes going forward are going to be so much easier with the TH3D Easy Board Lite. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and as always, keep printing. Hey everybody, we are over 4,100 subscribers, so please click that subscribe button below, click the thumbs up and give me that if you liked the video, and the little bell over here if you want to be notified next time we put out a video or we go live. Thank you guys so much, let's get to 5,000. Happy birthday Rachel, later.